Good morning, or good evening, wherever in the world you are. It is 6 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go to the hospital. I have three hours of sleep. My skin is giant flaking. I have one or two pimples coming out. I'm really hungry, but I really have to go now, so I'll speak to you guys later. I'm excited for today. <music> Good afternoon, and I am back. I don't know why I did that. Back. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Christian. You can tell it's my first video. Sorry. Let me put this in the middle. So bear with me. Thank you so much. So I am a fourth year or graduating nursing student. Actually, this May from Hunter Bellevue School of Nursing in New York City. In my school, it's a one-year process of actually getting into the nursing program. It's a 50-50 admission basis and between 50% of your GPA or your cumulative, cumulative average of eight to nine prerequisite classes. So like statistics, intro to psych, two semesters of English, chemistry, organic chemistry. Organic chemistry, the killer. And then there was an entrance exam called the PAX. So in our school during our orientation, I believe the dean told us around 800 or almost 1,000 students applied and they only accepted 100 of us. So I was very grateful for that. But let me tell you the backstory first of how I got into nursing. Because I never planned this. I never wanted this. But here I am. But now I love it. My mom is a nurse. She's been a nurse for almost 30 years now, actually. She's the head nurse in the PACU, 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 PACU unit. No, I didn't curse. It's post anesthesia care unit. Anyways, despite my mom's zeal and passion for nursing, it never really occurred to me that I wanted to be a nurse. Growing up, I read medical textbooks and dictionaries as a hobby, and I was always so fascinated with the idea of injecting on people. Um, when I graduated high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but I also am a fan of the arts. I love the arts. I love music. I love dancing. I love theater. always loved to act as I was a kid. So, when I applied to Hunter College, I applied for two things and two things only. One was pre-health, biology. And the second was theater. My application results came in. I was accepted to Hunter College, but my admission letter states, verbatim, welcome to Hunter College. Thank you for applying to the pre-nursing program. I never wanted to become a nurse. Like, I just didn't know much about it, other than based on my mom's profession. So apparently my application was mixed up with somebody else. Due to my indolence to redress the situation, aka I was too lazy to fix this application process, I was like, whatever, let's do this. I will be a nurse, I guess. I started nursing school proper on August of 2016. My first classes were Fundamentals of Nursing, Intro to Nursing, Anatomy and Physiology 1 with Lab and Foundation of Genetics for Nursing. So for every semester at Hunter College Nursing, there is one to two main classes. So they're heavy classes, lots of exams, a lot of readings, and they are the ones with the clinical component. So it's a time in the hospital or any medical center that provides an experience for the students in relation to the main course of study for that class. So for Fundamentals of Nursing, I was placed in a nursing home in Manhattan. <laughs> One of the hardest parts about nursing school is the clinical time, to be honest. Sometimes you're placed, like I am right now, 20 minutes away from my house. I love it, you know? I still have to wake up at around 5 to get ready and get to my appointed hour at 7 a.m. But it's better than being placed somewhere, let's say, two and a half hours away from your house which happened to me twice. <laughs> so I had to wake up around 3 or 4 a.m. While some people are trying to fall asleep, I'm waking up. If I did sleep, if in that case, I'm just continuing a 24 hour cycle extension, which happened so many times, to be honest, sometimes classes end late, or if you don't have late classes, um, you have to study. There is a lot of studying to do for nursing school. Uh, Lots. The focus of nursing is patient care. 
So about my first semester of nursing ever, I wasn't doing too well in the exams, to be honest. I am the type of person people know that is a perfectionist, as encouraged by my mom. You know, growing up, she told me, Christian, never settle for second best. Entering into this new course of study of nursing and not getting higher than 95s or 100s, I was devastated. I was really heartbroken. I got really doubtful of myself. This is even for me. Now, fundamentals of nursing clinical, it's things that's beyond many people's comfort zone, even mine. You have to do bed bath, you have to change a patient. I have to clean up if they have poop in their diapers, you have to wipe that, wipe them, change them, change the bed. If they have a tracheostomy tube, um, I have to suction. And see their phlegm of different colors going through the catheter and pass your hands. <laughs> I was taken aback at first. This is the side of nursing that I never heard of or I never saw. All in my mind was injections and taking out blood and surgery. It's about taking care of those who need help. Still, that thought didn't really come to me until by the end of the first semester, after a couple clinicals in the nursing home, I talked to my mom and I told her, I'm not sure if this is for me. I'm not enjoying it and I don't see myself in it. And she said, why don't you give it until the end of the semester? The week after this talk, one of the topics in my nursing classes was what is nursing? And so we were given the definition of what nursing was. And we were told that nursing is the science and art of the optimization, promotion, and protection of health, prevention of illness, and even advocacy of patients and their rights. Hit dark. This is what nursing is all about. Yes, we had to know all of the foundational scientific principles, but beyond the pharmacology, beyond the medications, it's about the person. It's about the human beings in front of you. So that first semester ended, and on to the next semester, the hardest semester. Oh my God. Anatomy and Physiology 2 with lab. Microbiology with lab and practicum. Med surge and pharmacology 1. We have to know the medication names, the trade names, the indications, the pharmacokinetics, the side effects, the adverse effects, the intervention, the contraindication, the caution. <gasps> It was that semester when I really held on to the friends that I found. <laughs> One tip for all of nursing students, find friends. Make friends. Make study groups. Nursing school is not easy. It's really tough. And to have people or even someone to share all of the pains, all of the fears and struggles, and even the happy moments during this journey, it's very helpful and it makes it more meaningful. And then my third semester of nursing school, I was able to see a live birth. The client was finally breathing very rapidly. The next thing you know, the view of a woman's vagina opening up for a ball of hair to come out. Damn, Daniel! The following semester, I was placed in the pediatrics unit. One of the things I can't forget is when I needed to do a glucose heel stick. And so I needed to puncture a baby's foot. That's one of the most heartbreaking things I believe I had to do in my life. Previous semester, um, fall of 2018, has to be my favorite. We had two clinicals, one in public health and secondly, psychiatric unit. Sometimes when we think of psychiatry or mental health, the only thing that comes into our mind is anxiety and depression. But there is more to the world of psychiatry. There are bouts of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, different clusters of personality disorders, and so many sets of diagnoses. Now what I love most about the psychiatric unit is being able to sit down and speak with the patient. There are those who don't speak at all. There are those who speak out of delusions and hallucinations. And there are those who open up their deepest, darker secrets and their worst fears. And that's why I am passionate about mental health. It's the great thing about my clinical experiences. It shows you what real life really is. Not just as a nurse, but as a human being. What clinicals remind me that we all go through different things in life, different circumstances, different painful experiences, different joyous moments. But underneath all of it, we are all human beings who need love and who need care. Everything I have learned and will continue to learn and experience in nursing school serves a great purpose, even though it may be far 
from the nursing curriculum. This is just the start of my story. I have many more things to tell you. Thank you for listening.